Hello everyone, it's Yvonne here from the Aussie Goddess to do your weekly read for the 7th to the 13th of April. I'm on the very last person, which is Virgo, but before I start the reading, I just want to let you know that I will be on holidays between the 15th to the 22nd of April. I will not be doing any readings during that time. Um, if you need a personal reading and you send that through, I'll do it as soon as I return. So, um, or you can just wait until I come back. That's entirely up to you. Um, and also a reminder that I'm doing a live Facebook um, hour on the 28th of April at 9am Australian time. So if you'd like to join me for that, you'll need to go over and join um, or like my Aussie Goddess Facebook page. Okay, so we do have the judgment card coming in here first, Virgo. So something the universe is trying to make fair to you here. This is like trying to clear the way for you, trying to move things out of the way. Something about give and take here. Something that you feel hasn't been fairly dealt with. So you want something to be fairly dealt with here and you're moving away from something because of that strength of that. Okay, so this may be something to do with financials for you because we do have the work card here. So maybe you've left a job where you didn't feel that you were getting fairly paid or you've been you've left a situation where you've been putting in a lot of energy and you haven't been getting the return you should have been getting. And look at how dissatisfied you are. So you're very unhappy with this situation here and refusing any offers at this time. Door closed. Okay, yep, yeah, and look at you stuck in your thoughts and unable to move forward. So you're really not sure what to do at this point in time. You're a little bit stuck here, trying to understand the direction. But don't worry, the Nine of Cups is right behind that, which means your wishes will come in, they will come true for you, and you will get stability. You just have to be patient while the universe works through that energy, and that's why you've got that justice card there, because the universe is working on this at the moment. Okay, so we have the Nine of Wands coming in. This is about you learning to have good boundaries. Someone's taken advantage of you here, either taken your money or not given back what they said they would. Um, could be dealing with a water sign, Cancer, Pisces or Scorpio. But you don't have to worry because you have the Magician here, which says you have everything you need here to manifest this. Oh, look how beautiful that is. You have the Strength card coming in here as well. And the Knight of Swords. So you're going to learn to stand up and speak your truth here. Okay, Six of Cups at the end. You've lost this since you were a child. So what I see here... When I look at this backwards, to me, it's like you've lost the ability to stand up for yourself. Um, you've learnt, you've lost this um, somehow through because you've had this wounded wounding here. You've sort of lost this ability to speak up and, and speak your mind. So you don't stick up for yourself very well. Um, and the universe is trying to make something right here to give you this opportunity and to gain this strength to be able to speak your truth here very clearly here with this magician card as well. You need to be coming forward and, and speaking your truth and you're not doing that. And because of that, you're not creating something stable for yourself. So something's happened here where you've lost out, could have lost out money, could have lost out from some sort of situation. And the universe is trying to get you back on track here by getting you to understand about speaking up and speaking your truth. Because when you were a child, you would have always spoken your truth. You would have always said how you felt. You would have always got angry if it meant getting angry. You would have always showed your emotion. But as an adult, you see, we don't do that because we're taught that it's inappropriate. So we don't find a way to do that that's helpful. But for you here, there's some sort of lesson here where you are learning how to do this for yourself. You've built the strength here and you are manifesting stability and this wish coming in. But when I look back at the beginning, this is about you having poor boundaries with people, um, accepting less than you should accept. And the universe is about to come in with that sword and just make sure that they cut that away from you. So why are you worried about speaking up and telling the truth? Because what's happening here is you are actually ignoring offers or you're not taking offers because you're so worried about getting hurt again. And what the universe is saying here is you don't have to worry about getting hurt. You just need to have good boundaries and learn how to stand up for yourself. 
and then you will no longer be hurt and you can have this beautiful future which includes wishes coming true and stability here um so sorry i put the cards in back to front sometimes and then they just come out at me um so this is about building your own personal strengths in order to speak up for yourself very very interesting reading and we've got an oracle card and we call it artistic expression and it's the card of paul of the vatican oh paul the venetian now oh, that was close oh i opened straight to the page too that's a bit interesting this card signals that your artistic talents are in need of creative expression which is exactly what we're talking about here not being able to express yourself you have hidden talents that lie dormant the trapped energy can make you feel tired, restless and anxious and can lead to addictions if the energy isn't expressed. Even if your artistic abilities feel unpolished, they need an outlet. Make the time today to draw, paint, sing, play, write, take photographs, make jewellery, whatever you need to do to find the key to your life's purpose. And that's exactly what this reading is saying here. It's saying that because you're not expressing yourself, you're not getting these beautiful opportunities come in and all this stuff is waiting for you out there. You just need to express yourself, Virgo. Have a great week.